Hi there, welcome back to Mind Builders Hub. And for today, our topic is the solar system. Are you ready? The origin of the solar system is a fascinating and complex topic that has intrigued scientists and astronomers for centuries. The current leading theory for the formation of our solar system is known as the Solar Nebula Hypothesis. Here's an introduction to the origin of the solar system based on his or this or in different theories. What do you know about space? That's the question. What do you notice about the movement of the round paper when it is tied to a string and then spun horizontally? What makes the round paper move in constant motion? And lastly, what do you think will happen to the planets without the sun? So in here, we need to understand the universal law of gravitation and we need to analyze the theories of the origin of the solar system. So let's begin. The solar system refers to the sun itself and every celestial object that revolves around it, including the eight planets and their natural satellites, including the dwarf planets, the asteroid, the comets, the meteoroids, and some other. And the man behind the explanation of the universal law of gravitation is none other than Isaac Newton and he explained what keeps the celestial objects particularly the planets in orbit around the Sun in terms of the universal law of gravitation gravitational pull or the force of attraction exerted by the Sun to the planets pulling towards it is one of the forces that hold the planets in orbit the mass of the sun is greater than the mass of the smaller bodies, such as the planets, and it caused the sun to exert the force. In the force of inertia, the force exerted that keeps the planets moving and spinning. It's the reason. If you remember what inertia is, an object at rest or main at rest, object in motion will continue to move unless there is an unbalanced force acting upon it then it will change its state of motion. The gravity and inertia works together or work together resulting to a stable planetary orbit. So, in the different theories about the solar system, let us see the ideas. There are three people who formulated different theories to explain the beginning of the solar system. And the three theories suggest different studies about the early history of the creation of the solar system. The first one is the planetesimal theory. In here, it says that the formation of the planets from the cosmic dust and grains colliding and sticking together form the solar system. And those idea, ideas come from Thomas Trombley and with his partner Forrest Moffat. George's Buffon theory was about the collision of a comet with the sun. And here, if we're go just going to think about it, that a comet will, coll will collide to the sun, I don't think so. Will it really form a planet? And do you think that the planetesimal theory explains logically the origin of our solar system? And then why? There is another theory rising, and that is the companion star theory by Fred Hoyle. In here, Sun once had a companion star, which exploded when it collided with the Sun. And then, what do you think? Is that companion star theory explains logically the origin of our solar system? And then why? Lastly, is the nebular hypothesis. 
in here who uh, Marquis de Laplace was the one who uh, explained this hypothesis or theory somehow widely accepted theory suggests that the solar system formed approximately 4.6 billion years ago from a giant rotating cloud of gas and dust known as the solar nebula then uh, slowly it cooled and shrank causing it to spin faster in space forming the solar system do you think that the nebula theory explains logically the ori origin of our solar system what do you think so and that's it for our discussion thank you very much for listening and hope to see you again soon don't forget to subscribe bye bye